To start making our back bodice draft, do the same as making the front. We begin by making a rectangle, give it a name of back, and in the X, which is your length, make 17 and a half inches, and in the Y, which is the width, type in 9 and a quarter inches. Click OK, and then click on the piece to bring to the working area. To see the segment lengths, press F8 key from the keyboard. Now we need our draft lines to act as our guidelines. Pick up the draft tool and set a point along the center back line at 16 and 3 quarters inch away from the far point. And draw your 3 inch guideline. Here in the Y, type in 3 inches, click OK, and then right mouse click to finish the draft. And for the shoulder line, we're going to offset this a distance of seven and three quarters inch away from the far point and then square out three inches to the left in the X type minus three and click OK and right mouse click to finish Now I will draw the slope line from point one intersecting the shoulder line and the diagonal distance of this line needs to be 17 and 1 8 inch long. I click OK and then right mouse click then use the rotate tool rotate contour tool and click on the point and pivot so that the point touches the line. Now take the add point tool and for the neckline point click on the segment and specify a distance of 3 and 1 8 inch from the next point which is point number 5 here. Make it a grading point and click OK. Then take the draft tool and draft from this point your shoulder line going through the shoulder tip point and make that diagonal distance exactly five and three quarters inches long and then right mouse click to finish then draw your perpendicular line from the high point shoulder bisecting the neck guideline and to do that Go to the From Segment tab, change your angle to zero, and make the distance an inch and a half. Now we have our perpendicular line. Again, if you want to hide the internal segment lengths, you press Shift F8. External segment lengths is F8, on and off. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to the add point tool and we're going to mark our point for the side waist and the dart. So here I'm going to mark the distance from the previous point of eight and a quarter inch. And then I need a point for my first dart leg, which will be three and a quarter inches. And then for the actual dart intake, I'm going to mark a point which is away from point number two here. This will be a distance of one and a quarter inches. That'll be my dart width or my dart intake amount. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my view menu under piece view and I'm gonna temporarily turn off or hide the grain line layer. So you go to the internals tab, uncheck, grain line and click OK. Then I can also delete this center point which was automatically created when we first made the rectangle. Okay now I'm going to take the button tool and I'm going to mark my apex for the dart. So first I need to offset a specific distance which is halfway between the dart legs. We had an inch and a quarter so I will go 
up five eighths of an inch and then I will go inside seven and a half inches to the right. So when I click OK, uh, choose an attribute of none and then click create and the dart apex is set. Now we're ready to take the draft tool and draw the dart in. So click OK on each point and then I will right mouse click to finish drawing. Now I need to zoom in on the end of the dart legs and if I select uh, the end points I need to extend the dart legs out an eighth of an inch so I click the extend internal tool and in the dialog type an amount of one eighth of an inch and I can press apply and I can switch to the other side here and do the same one eighth of an inch and click OK the dart legs are extended after drawing the dart now we're gonna draw the side seam so starting from our point at the side waist we need to offset it from the snap point 3 sixteenths of an inch so we do type in minus 3 sixteenths and we're going to draw so that it intersects the side seam line and in the diagonal distance field type in eight and a half inches and then use your rotate tool to pivot the segment so that it touches the line Okay, let's also place a vertical guideline at that point. So we'll have this in place for our ruler. Then go back into draft and now we're going to draw a line from the apex of the dart to the exact center of the shoulder. Here we type in 50% in the proportional field. That gives me right in the middle of the shoulder. Then we will also draw the first dart leg from the apex. So our apex will be three inches from the middle of the dart. So here we type three inches in the absolute field from the near point and click on the line and this will be quarter inch to give us a half inch total dart width. Then if I zoom in here we can extend this internal one eighth of an inch. And we will do the same on the second dart leg. Now we draw the second dart leg. So from the apex to the segment and on the segment we want to go exactly a quarter inch away from the midpoint of the dart. Then we want to make sure that the distance is exactly the same as the first dart leg. So it's 3.075 inches long. That gives us a quarter inch. Now finally we will draft the shoulder line to complete that. Now if I zoom back out to full scale, the last thing we need to do is define our mid-arm guideline. And to do that we need to start by going 25% the distance between the neck and the hem. So between point 0.10 and point 0.1 I click on the segment and in the proportional field type in 25% which is 0.25 and then draw a vertical line exactly seven and a quarter inches so in the Y we type 7.25 and finish okay then we can drag a guideline from the top of the screen to that point for placement Okay, then we'll go into File Menu and merge the CAD ruler and we need the French curve from my file. So I bring that down onto the working area and we are going to now place it. Mm -hmm. 
once you get your ruler in position you may have to pivot this so we want to pivot this so that the ruler touches all three points of our guidelines here we have it touching the line here and finishing at the shoulder so once that angle is set then we can select the segment okay so now we're gonna select the segment on the ruler to copy go to segment menu and choose copy then I can move the ruler away and I'm ready to paste it between these two points proportionally so I can click internal proportional and go from the first point to the last point and my segment will paste proportionally now if we need to go in and true it up we can use our move proportional tool and here I'm just going to square up the segment a little bit so that it's more squared from our side seam and here we don't want this to dip below our armhole line so let's move this over a little bit as well and we can take single point move point tool and true it up a little more if necessary Now that's complete, we can delete some of our unnecessary segments, clean up our screen, screen a bit. Here we still have to create the neckline, so we will need that line, and I can delete the guidelines here on screen, and I don't need this segment anymore. Okay, now if we zoom in on the neck area, what I'm going to do is delete this corner point, and then take the move point tool, and by holding down the shift key, we can add curve points and shape our neckline. So here, are, on any curve you should have a minimum of three points. And let's scoop this a little bit more here. Okay, back to full view. Okay, we need to finish drawing our waistline. So starting from the beginning, let's put a curve point right here and draw to here and from this point at the second dart leg let's put a slight curve also on the side and finish to here then we can again clean up any unnecessary reference lines and points now we're ready for the final step which is to trace out the new piece so take the trace segments tool and again trace in a clockwise direction starting with the first segment and it will stop at each grading point here I'll take the shoulder my dart legs rest of the shoulder neckline and center back line say yes when finished and the new piece is added automatically to your piece bar you can simply exit the tool and drag it out. Now to convert these darts into computerized darts, here I'm going to delete the apex point, then select the two points for the dart leg, and then click the Create Dart Tool. This dart will be 7.5 inches in length. The overlap direction will be counterclockwise, and my distance from the dart top or dart apex will be a half inch that's my drill hole distance and I'll do the same for the shoulder dart first delete the apex point then select the two points click create dart and this will be three and three sixteenths of an inch and the overlap direction will be clockwise Now to add the seams, you select the seam tool and I'm going to go from the hem to a high point shoulder and add a half inch seam allowance. And in the neckline, I will make this a quarter inch seam allowance. Then from here I can take my notch tool and add my notches to the corners. So here I'm adding notch to previous line. This will be on the next line. and 
a notch here at the neck. This will be on the previous line. And now for the last step, we set the piece as a half piece to mirror it. So I'm selecting my two points and then clicking the set half tool. This is the final step in making the back bodice.